I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole. I, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. In an explosive interview on Shannon Sharp's club Shay Shay, Cat Williams spills the tea on Diddy's scandalous antics, taking the controversy to a whole new level. Brace yourselves as Williams dishes on the jaw-dropping moment when Diddy allegedly propositioned him with a mind-boggling $50 million for a night of passion. Yes, you heard that right. A jaw-dropping $50 million for a single night's company. However, Williams boldly asserted that he turned down this exorbitant offer, citing the preservation of his integrity and self-respect. With an unapologetic demeanor, Williams dropped the bombshell, recounting, just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about, right? because P. Diddy be wanting to party and you got to tell him no. But here's the kicker. Williams hinted that his refusal might not have been an isolated incident. He suggested that Diddy's offers might have found takers among other A-listers, with tantalizing insinuations that stars like Kevin Hart might have succumbed to similar propositions. It's for everything I'm telling you, that's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so free. Can, 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 can I need no one? You here, get your no Thank you, okay. sir. Thank you. Come on. This stunning claim not only adds fuel to the ongoing firestorm surrounding Diddy, but also suggests a pattern of behavior that extends beyond one isolated incident. It's this revelation that has catapulted the podcast interview to the top of everyone's must-watch list. The comedian's mention of having receipts implies there might be tangible evidence supporting his assertions. Such a statement has the potential to shake the very foundations of Diddy's public persona, especially amid the swirling allegations against him. Diddy who has faced recent accusations of sexual misconduct, is yet to respond to Williams' claims, leaving the public in suspense about how this saga will unfold. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. This jaw-dropping revelation comes at a time when Diddy's personal life is already under intense scrutiny due to a $30 million lawsuit filed by Cassie, his former girlfriend. She accused him of exerting control over her career and life, alleging abusive behavior that has garnered significant attention, the harrowing details unveiled in Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy have sent shockwaves through Hollywood, revealing the dark underbelly of the hip-hop mogul's alleged secret sexual rituals known as the Freak Off's Ives. These revelations, stemming from the lawsuit's initial filing, offer a disturbing glimpse into a clandestine world of manipulation and exploitation. And that he also allegedly forced her to have sex with male sex workers while he watched. Jesus. According to the court documents, Cassie accused Diddy of coercing her into participating in these unsettling events, where he would orchestrate encounters with male sex workers while he watched. The filing paints a distressing picture, detailing how Diddy forced Cassie to engage in sexual acts, often fueled by an array of substances, inducing a state of disassociation. Male sex workers what? Yeah. I did. sound like hired some prostitutes and then watched them, you know. Yikes. Do that thing. But the most chilling aspect emerges from the specificity of Diddy's control over these encounters. Cassie alleged that Diddy dictated the details from her attire, insisting on lingerie and white nail polish, to the pouring of excessive oil on herself during the foffs. The filing stated that Diddy filmed these encounters, directing Cassie and the male sex workers on their actions. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> He, he, he do it all. The sinister nature of these allegations gained further credence through additional claims made by Cassie's friend, Tiffany Red. In a recent interview, Red corroborated Cassie's accounts of the freak-offs, painting a horrifying picture of Diddy's manipulation and control over Cassie's creative work. Oh, that he would hire these, like, sex workers and, like, they would have, you know, sex with her or whatever and... Red asserted that Diddy withheld opportunities for Cassie to work on her music unless she participated in these distressing events, underscoring a pattern of coercion and abuse. I spent all these years writing these songs for him to violate my friend to, like, is just disgusting to think about, Tiffany Red expressed in the interview, reflecting the disturbing realization of how Cassie's artistic endeavors were allegedly intertwined with these traumatic experiences. Do you believe Diddy is a dangerous person? Yes. The magnitude of these revelations takes a seismic turn with the emergence of a video purportedly capturing the interrogation of a male sex worker involved in these events. In the footage, the individual reportedly discloses that Diddy hired him multiple times for these freak-offs where he engaged in sexual activities with Cassie while Diddy recorded the encounters. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would my 
from what I do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard lots. This revelation not only corroborates Cassie's allegations, but also aligns with Cat Williams' jaw-dropping claim during his interview about Diddy's purported attempts to solicit him for a similar night. It paints a broader picture of a dark and unsettling aspect of Diddy's private life, suggesting a penchant for controlling and voyeuristic behavior. The silence from Diddy's camp in response to these shocking allegations continues to deepen the intrigue surrounding the scandal. With no official statements addressing these specific claims, speculation abounds regarding the potential fallout and legal ramifications for the hip-hop mogul. The absence of a rebuttal or clarification from Diddy only fuels the public's curiosity, leaving the narrative ripe for further developments and potential revelations. As the scandal surrounding Diddy's alleged propositions continues to rock the entertainment industry, Cat Williams didn't shy away from stirring the pot further. And in his unfiltered interview with Shannon Sharp, Williams didn't just stop at divulging Diddy's jaw-dropping offer. He threw shade at another heavyweight in the industry, Kevin Hart. Williams didn't mince words, suggesting that Hart's career trajectory seemed too smooth to be organic. He questioned the absence of significant memories or anecdotes from industry insiders about Hart's early career successes, hinting at a possible industry plant scenario. These pointed jabs from Williams stirred the pot, leaving audiences curious about the truth behind Hart's rapid rise to fame. He was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? This revelation immediately sparked intrigue and speculation, especially given the rocky history between Williams and Hart. The two comedians have a well-documented history of public spats and shade throwing, making Williams' comments particularly intriguing in the context of their ongoing feud. Adding to the brewing controversy, explosive claims surfaced from Kevin Hart's alleged former assistant, Misha, in a gripping interview with Tasha Kay. Misha dropped bombshell allegations, painting a vivid yet unverified picture of Hart's personal life. She accused Hart of being a serial adulterer, detailing incidents of infidelity, and even pointing out an Instagram model she claims to have informed Hart's wife about. Misha also alleged that Hart had impregnated a flight attendant, hinting at a pattern of reckless behavior. It is a time for Hollywood to hear this story, especially because a lot of people are locked in non-disclosures and they're not able to talk and protect themselves. Amid these shocking revelations, Misha also shed light on Hart's purported gambling addiction, claiming that he had a penchant for high-stakes poker. She painted a narrative of financial mismanagement, suggesting that Hart faced a crisis where he had to issue half paychecks to his staff due to financial depletion. The most eyebrow-raising aspect of Miyasha's interview was her insinuation about a deeper connection between Kevin Hart and Diddy. She didn't just stop at detailing Hart's alleged personal affairs. She hinted at a closeness between Hart and Diddy that surpassed professional collaboration. Miyasha claimed that Hart organized Diddy's notorious parties. Check this out. No homo. No homo. Come in, man. Hey, yo. Kevin, come here, no homo, we're gonna have a contest. You know we're gonna have a contest, we're gonna get our breath first, because your breath be stinking sometimes. This revelation sent shockwaves through Hollywood, especially as old footage from these gatherings resurfaced. The clips portrayed a peculiar dynamic between Hart and Diddy, raising questions about the true nature of their relationship. What started as glitzy parties now sits at the center of a potential scandal that threatens to shake the foundations of Tinseltown. We uh, we um, we want to thank you. Come here. Don't, don't sit on the bed at night. No homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. The speculation around Kevin Hart's personal life extends to persistent rumors about his sexuality, something he has vehemently denied on multiple occasions. Despite Hart's strong denials, the ongoing rumors have sparked conversations about authenticity and transparency within the entertainment industry. Critics and observers continue to dissect his public statements in light of the swirling rumors, raising questions about whether his vehement denials might conceal deeper truths. As the scandal surrounding Diddy's alleged propositions continues to grip the industry, Recent revelations have shed an even darker light on the hip-hop mogul's alleged lifestyle. Amid the unsettling claims, whispers of Usher's involvement in these circles have sparked fervent speculation, drawing attention to a cryptic connection between the RBI Con and Diddy. The most striking mention came from an interview where Usher himself addressed his early days in New York City with Diddy. Known as Flavor Camp, these get-togethers were shrouded in ambiguity, with Usher delicately skirting around the details while acknowledging the wild nature of the lifestyle. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell know? no. Yet, the video alludes to something more disconcerting, insinuating that Usher and Diddy shared a bed when Usher was merely 10, engaging in what seemed like a playful wrestling match over Frosted Flakes. Back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented. Additionally, reports surfaced suggesting that Usher, 
at the tender age of 14, was introduced to Diddy's lavish parties as part of grooming him for an edgier image in the music industry. L.A. Reed, CEO of La Fafes Records, revealed Diddy's pivotal role in persuading him to retain Usher on the label, showcasing the mogul's influence over the budding star's career trajectory. The blurred lines between mentorship, influence, and potential impropriety have left tongues wagging about Usher's involvement in Diddy's clandestine world. The speculation continues to swirl around these revelations, deepening the intrigue and leaving a haunting question lingering in the air. Was Usher, a revered RB figure, unwittingly intertwined in Diddy's shadowy affairs from the inception of his career? Right. No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Amidst these labyrinthine revelations, one thing remains starkly clear. While Cat Williams stirred the pot with bold claims and steered clear of compromising offers, Kevin Hart's journey into the echelons of fame seems shrouded in enigmatic connections and whispered controversies. The contrast in their trajectories underscores a dichotomy between standing firm against the tide and potentially succumbing to shadowy forces lurking behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. As the intrigue deepens, we invite you to share your thoughts on these revelations. Do you believe Usher was inadvertently entangled in Diddy's cryptic world, or do you think there's more beneath the surface? Moreover, what's your take on the contrasting paths taken by Cat Williams and Kevin Hart? Resilience against dubious offers versus a reported journey through the industry's murkier waters. Your insights could unveil more layers to this riveting tale. Until next time, stay tuned for the latest buzz from the realms of fame and fortune.